So for the last few years, the Sennheiser Momentum 3s have been my favorite sounding ANC headphones. And now we have their predecessors, the Momentum 4s, which have some major upgrades to them. Now, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the AirPod Max, I do have to admit that they sound really good. And then there are the Bowers & Wilkins PX7S 2s, and these things also sound really good. So if you're looking for a pair of ANC headphones, and if sound is very important to you, let's see which one of these headphones is right for you. Regarding pricing, the AirPod Max are the most expensive headphones here retailing for $550. And if you want a proper carrying case and or if you want to use them with a wired connection, that's going to cost you extra. And keep in mind, these are the oldest headphones here. These came out in the fall of 2020. Then there are the Bowers & Wilkins PX7S 2s which recently came out and these retail for $400. And finally, there are the recently released Momentum 4s, which retail for $350. Now, overall, the PX7S 2s are my preferred headphones here. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these headphones up, they'll be linked down below, or you can press on the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch shelf down below. I've made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I can be very particular. So I'll only set my name on something that I'm really proud of. Now first let's talk about these cases, cause there's a lot more going on here than you'd expect. Now both the Momentum 4s and PX7S 2s come included with a hard shell case, which is good. Whereas with the AirPod Max, not so much. So with the AirPod Max, you're going to be constantly worried about crushing your headphones if they're in your backpack. Whereas with these other two cases, they're going to be perfectly safe. Now, both the Momentum 4s and PX7S 2s come included with fairly large cases. Traveling with them is doable, but is not as convenient as traveling with either, let's say, the Bose QC45 or Sony 1000 XM 4s, which have noticeably smaller cases. However, with both the Momentum 4s and AirPod Max, they will automatically power on if you take them out of their case, and they'll automatically power off when you put them back into their case. But unlike the AirPod Max, the Momentum 4s aren't reliant on their case to power them off. You can still power these headphones off by simply pressing and holding on their multi-purpose button. But something that I did notice with the Momentum 4s is that if you have their case upright or if their case is upside down, these headphones can get powered on and they can get connected to your phone. So until Sennheiser either allows you to turn this feature off or fixes this issue, you're going to have to be mindful about how you store these headphones while they're in their case. But now let's talk about the headphones themselves. When it comes to build quality, unfortunately, the Momentum 4s aren't in the same league as these other two headphones. The Momentum 4s have a mostly plastic body, they're using some very synthetic feeling leatherette on their earpads, and they have some fairly stiff silicone padding underneath their headband. However, they do have a touch of fabric on the top of their headband, just like the PX7S 2s. Whereas with these other two headphones, they both have a generous amount of exposed metal, and the PX7S 2s are using real leather on both their earpads and headband. But also, from a design standpoint, the earpads on both the PX7S 2s and AirPod Max are easily removable, and you can easily attach them back on. Whereas with the Momentum 4s, you can also remove their earpads, but they're glued on. So don't go removing these earpads unless you've got a fresh pair of earpads ready to go. But overall, the Momentum 4s have solid build quality, but you're not getting any of the more premium materials that you'll find on either the PX7S 2s or AirPod Max. Now, when it comes to fit, I am gonna have to say that the Momentum 4s are the least comfortable headphones here for a few reasons. Now, I will say that all of these headphones are big head approved, because I can wear all of these headphones for long stretches of time. However, all of these headphones do have a firmer fit to them. Now, the Momentum 4s have the firmest fit here, whereas the AirPod Max are a little looser, and the PX7S 2s have the loosest fit here. However, all of these headphones fit tighter than your more mainstream options, like let's say the Sony 1000 XM5s or Bose NC700s. But then there's the padding underneath their headband. Like I mentioned earlier, the Momentum 4s have padded silicone underneath their headband, but it isn't the softest. And I found that after wearing these headphones for like, let's say 40 minutes, they do develop a pressure point. Now it's not a full on hotspot, but it can get uncomfortable. 
Whereas with the PX7S2s, this headband has more padding and it has more surface area. So pressure points are not an issue for this headband. And finally, there's the AirPod Max, which have their canopy. And this canopy does an amazing job of conforming to the shape of your head, and pressure points are also not an issue. But then, there's their weight. The AirPod Max are the heaviest headphones here, weighing in at a whopping 384 grams, which is way above average, and you'll never forget that you're wearing these headphones. The PX7S2s weigh in at 307 grams, which is better, but it is still above average and you'll always notice these headphones on your head. But then there are the Momentum 4s which weigh in at 295 grams. And with these, you won't notice them too much while you're sitting at your desk, but you will notice them shifting around when you're walking around with them on. But for comparison's sake, the Bose NC700s weigh in at 264 grams, the XM4s weigh in at 254 grams, the XM5s weigh in at 250 grams, and the Bose QC45s weigh in at 234 grams. So yeah, both the Momentum 4s and PX7S2s are noticeably heavier than your more mainstream options, but the AirPod Max are simply in a different league. But finally, there are the earpads on these headphones. Now, the earpads on both the Momentum 4s and AirPod Max are going to have no problem accommodating most average size ears. However, the earpads on the PX7S2s are noticeably more spacious. So if you have larger ears or ears that stick out a lot, then you might want to go with these. But then there's also heat retention on these earpads. The earpads on the Momentum 4s heat up the fastest here because they have the most amount of surface area coming in contact with your skin. Whereas the earpads on the PX7S2s stay a little cooler for a little longer because they have less surface area coming in contact with your skin. But finally, there are the AirPod Max. Now, these earpads are super breathable because they're fabric. However, this fabric is very coarse, and I have always found that it gets very itchy after a while. So overall, when it comes to fit, the PX7S2s are my preferred headphones here. Yes, they have a firmer fit to them, but they're looser than these other two headphones. Their headband doesn't create a hotspot or pressure point, they aren't super heavy, and the earpads are spacious, they stay cool, and the real leather feels much better than the leatherette on the Momentum 4s and fabric on the AirPod Max. But now let's talk about tech specs. Regarding battery life, this is something where the Momentum 4s simply just crush these other two headphones. Now, the Momentum 4s have an advertised battery life of 60 hours, and that's with their active noise cancellation turned on. Whereas with the PX7S2s, they have an advertised battery life of 30 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on. However, with the PX7S2s, you can always use them with the active noise cancellation turned off and extend their battery life that way. Now, you're not going to get near 60 hours of playback time, but it is something. Because with the Momentum 4s, you can't use these headphones with their ANC or ambient mode completely turned off. But then there are the AirPod Max, which have an advertised battery life of 20 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on. Now, a battery life of 20 hours is doable, but it is below average. But my biggest issue with the AirPod Max is their battery drain. Even if you were to store these headphones in their case, their battery life is still going to drain pretty fast. Whereas battery drain isn't an issue with any of these other headphones. But now let's talk about Bluetooth connectivity. With both the Momentum 4s and PX7S2s, these two headphones can be connected to any two Bluetooth devices at the same time, regardless of ecosystem, which is good if you're a power user. Whereas with the AirPod Max, you can easily hot swap between any of your Apple devices associated to your iCloud account, but these are mainly geared towards an Apple power user. However, with the Momentum 4s, I have noticed that on a semi-regular basis, these headphones won't automatically get connected to my phone. So I have to go into my Bluetooth menu and manually establish a connection with these headphones. Now, this doesn't happen all of the time, but it does happen enough to the point where I have to point it out. And this is an issue that I have been able to replicate on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro Max, and Pixel 6a. Whereas, Bluetooth connectivity just isn't an issue with any of these other two headphones and plainly said, this Bluetooth connectivity issue shouldn't be an issue for the Momentum 4s either. 
But when it comes to overall performance, all of these headphones have zero latency across the board when watching movies or videos on your phone, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device. But when it comes to audio codecs, the AirPod Max only have support for SPC and AAC. Now, AAC is going to work perfectly fine whether you're an iPhone or an Android user. However, these other two headphones do have support for higher quality audio codecs. Now, the Momentum 4s have support for SPC and AAC, but they also have support for Aptex and Aptex Adaptive. And then there are the PX7S 2s, which also have support for Aptex HD. However, if you do want to take advantage of Aptex, just keep in mind you do have to be an Android user because iPhones top out at AAC. But if you want to, you can always just use a wired connection with any of these headphones. Now, with the PX7S 2s, you can use their USB-C port as a wired connection. Now, you can either use a USB-C to USB-C cable or you can also use their included USB-C to audio jack cable. But then there are the Momentum 4s. You can also use their USB-C port as a wired connection, but they also have a 2.5mm audio jack. But the most important thing here is that both the PX7S 2s and Momentum 4s come included with the proper audio cables. But then there are the AirPod Max. Now the AirPod Max only have a lightning port. Now you can always use a wired connection with the AirPod Max, but you are going to have to get their lightning port to audio jack cable, which is sold separately. But now let's talk about actually listening to music with these headphones. Now without a doubt, all of these headphones sound better than your more mainstream options. They all have better instrument separation and they sound more open. However, these headphones do differ pretty significantly when it comes to their bass response. Now with the PX7S 2s, I feel that these headphones are going to be better suited for someone who likes a more neutral or vocals focused EQ. The PX7S 2s have very well defined mids and they give the instrumentals really good detail, but they do have the overall weakest bass here. Now, don't get me wrong, the bass on these headphones resonates a good amount, and if you were to go into their EQ settings, you can raise their bass and they'll have more physicality to them. But the bass on these headphones isn't going to kick as hard as these other two headphones. If you like a more neutral or vocals focused EQ, these do have enough bass to satisfy you, but if you like lots of bass, then these will leave you wanting more. But then there are the AirPod Max. Now the instrument separation on these headphones is in line with that of the PX7S 2s, but the main difference here is that their bass kicks noticeably more, giving these headphones a more fun and more dynamic listening experience than the PX7S 2s. My issue with the AirPod Max is that I've always felt that they put a little too much of an emphasis on the treble, so I do feel these don't sound as balanced as these other two headphones because they have a slightly better sound signature to them. Nonetheless, I still really enjoy how these headphones sound. But finally, there are the Momentum 4s, and I feel these are going to have the easiest time pleasing the most amount of people here. They have good instrument separation, they sound more balanced than the AirPod Max because they don't put so much of an emphasis on the treble, their bass resonates the most here, and if you were to go into their EQ settings and raise their bass, their bass will kick the most here as well. However, I can't help but feel that these headphones don't have as much instrument separation as these other two headphones. Their instrumentals just aren't as defined. Also, I noticed that these headphones don't get as loud as these other two headphones. Now, the Momentum 4s get more than loud enough, but I noticed that I would have to use them at a higher volume than with these other two headphones. But overall, personally, I feel the PX7S 2s are my preferred sounding headphones here, because I like their instrument separation over the instrument separation on the Momentum 4s, and I do prefer their more balanced sound over the AirPod Max. However, with the PX7S 2s, their bass is mostly on the audible side. So if you're someone that wants that instrument separation, but you also want to feel your bass, then you'll want to go with the Momentum 4s. Now, when it comes to the meter controls on these headphones, the Momentum 4s are the only headphones here that are using a touchpad. Now, even though this touchpad gets the job done, it's not my favorite because it is a little too sensitive for my taste. So I have noticed that accidental inputs can be an issue for this touchpad. Whereas with these other two headphones, they have physical buttons. The PX7S 2s have a more traditional 3 button layout, whereas the AirPod Max has its crown. However, something that all of these headphones have are wear sensors. So whenever you take any of these headphones off, they'll automatically pause your music, and when you put them back on, they'll start playing music again.
Now, the wear sensors on the AirPod Max work flawlessly, whereas the wear sensors on the Momentum 4s work very well, but they only work half of the time. The other half of the time is like they forget that I have them on. And then there are the wear sensors on the PX7S2s. Their wear sensors will sometimes randomly play and pause my music. Now, personally, I don't really care for wear sensors on my headphones, so I usually just turn them off on all of my headphones. But I just wanted to give you a heads up just in case wear sensors are like super important to you. But now let's talk about the active noise cancellation on these headphones. The PX7S2s block out a decent amount of noise for a pair of premium ANC headphones. However, both the AirPod Max and Momentum 4s block out noticeably more noise than the PX7S2s. But so that you can see for yourself, we're going to jump into an ANC test. So, like you may have just seen, the PX7S2s block out the least amount of noise here, but they still block out an adequate amount of noise. However, both the Momentum 4s and AirPod Max brutally go after those constant low frequency sounds, and as a result, they block out more road noise than the PX7S2s. Now, I feel the AirPod Max block out more road noise than the Momentum 4s, but I feel the Momentum 4s do a better job at blocking out higher frequency sounds like chatter. And overall, I do prefer the ANC on the Momentum 4s over the AirPod Max because they have noticeably less cabin pressure. But then, there's the ambient mode on these headphones. Now, the ambient mode on the Momentum 4s is the only ambient mode here that allows you to adjust how much noise they let in, whereas the ambient mode on these other two headphones are one size fits all. However, the ambient mode on the Momentum 4s prioritizes noise pollution over people's voices, making it hard to understand when people are talking directly at you. Whereas, the ambient mode on the PX7S2s sounds more natural, and the ambient mode on the AirPod Max sounds the most natural. It's almost like you're not even wearing headphones. Plus, the microphone array on the AirPod Max does an amazing job of blocking out wind noise when walking outdoors. However, something that the Momentum 4s does have going for them is that they have an active ambient mode, where they'll automatically turn off their ambient mode if there is a sudden loud noise, like this. Major headphone warning if you're using them. And then, when that loud noise stops, they'll go back to normal again. Now, the AirPod Max also try to do this, but then they'll just gradually let that noise in, like this. So like you just saw, with the AirPod Max, they started to block out that noise, but then they gradually let that noise in. Now, we know Apple is going to be focusing on their active ambient mode because this is a feature that they are going to be showcasing on the AirPods Pro 2. And I'm fairly certain that Apple will be saving this feature for the AirPod Max 2. And finally, there are the PX7S 2s, which just let everything. So they're just simply going to blast your ears. And another thing that the Momentum 4s have going for them that these other two headphones don't have is a conversation mode where you can quickly lower the volume 
volume of your music and pump in all of the ambient sound around you so that you can quickly talk to someone without having to remove your headphones like this. And then the headphones will go back to normal again. Now, this feature is extremely useful if you plan on traveling a lot with your headphones. And again, neither the PX7S2s or AirPod Max do this. So overall, I am going to have to say that the Momentum 4s have the most robust ambient mode here, and it gets the job done. But it's not my favorite because it does prioritize noise pollution, making it a little hard to understand people. But finally, here's the microphone test. Now, all of these headphones have decent enough sounding microphones to take phone calls with while in a quiet room. But I do feel the Momentum 4s are doing a better job of amplifying my voice. And I feel the AirPod Max have the best clarity here. However, I do feel the AirPod Max is doing the best job here of dealing with noise pollution. Because right now, the AirPod Max are blocking out this road noise while still keeping my voice front and center. Whereas with the Momentum 4s, I feel these are letting in more road noise and these are interfering with my voice a little bit. And then there are the PX7S2s, which are letting in even more road noise and these are interfering with my voice a little bit more. Now, when it comes to blocking out chatter, these aren't interfering with my voice as much, but they are letting in the most amount of chatter here. If the Momentum 4s are doing a decent job of blocking out this chatter without interfering with my voice too much. But I feel the AirPod Max are doing the best job here of dealing with all of this chatter. So overall, I do feel that all of these headphones have decent enough sounding microphones on them to take phone calls with while in a quiet room. But I do feel the AirPod Max do the best job here of dealing with noise pollution. But with all that being said, on paper and at first glance, the Sennheiser Momentum 4s should be the best headphones here. They have a monstrous 60 hour battery life, they block out a ton of noise without a whole lot of carbon pressure, their ambient mode has the most amount of features, you can use them either with an audio jack or USB-C wired connection, and they sound great as well. However, the user experience here isn't flawless as it should be. These headphones won't always automatically connect to your phone, and this is an issue that has been replicated on multiple devices. Their wear sensors won't always react, their touchpads are a little too sensitive for my taste, and they can get powered on and connected to your phone while they're in their case. But let's say Sennheiser does manage to fix all of these issues through a software update. Personally, I don't think these headphones are the most comfortable things out there. They have a very firm fit to them, their ear pads can be a little cramped, and their headband can create a pressure point. And plus, they don't have their premium materials anymore. Personally, the PX1S2s are my preferred headphones here. I find these headphones to be more comfortable than the Momentum 4s thanks to their looser fit, more spacious ear pads, and well padded headband. I also really appreciate the finer materials here as well. But I also appreciate the better instrument separation on these headphones, which make them sound more open than the Momentum 4s. The only thing is, they don't have as much physicality in their base. But another reason why I'm leaning towards the PX7S2s is because their Bluetooth connectivity isn't an issue. But finally, there are the AirPod Max. Even though there are some reasons to like and appreciate the AirPod Max, I find it very hard to justify getting the AirPod Max. And I still find their short battery life and battery drain to be an issue. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.